from members of parliament and from Kenyans, Honorable Speaker, so that as the people's representatives, you are able to hold all these cabinet secretaries to account to ensure that they are serving the interests of the people we represent in the offices that they hold, Honorable Speaker. Let me just take this opportunity, Honorable Speaker, even as I beg Honorable Members to approve these names, Honorable Speaker, to just state it to the Cabinet Secretary nominees. God willing, if you are approved, let us not witness the hubris, the arrogance that we witnessed under the Cabinet Secretaries that served in the previous regime. They must appreciate that they have been stored the honor to serve in high office, to serve the people of Kenya. And as they come to this house, they must appreciate they are coming to appear before the people's representatives. When a cabinet secretary is called to come and answer a question in this house, he is not coming to answer to the Honorable Junet Mohammed or the Honorable Roko, member for Mbere North. You are answering a question to the people of either Suna East or the people of Mbere North, not the honorable members. And therefore, we do expect, honorable speaker, that we shall treat them with the decorum and respect that they deserve. But they must treat the people of Kenya with higher respect and answer to questions and statements that are of concern to the people of Kenya Without the arrogance we saw in the last regime, we must take this opportunity, Honorable Speaker, and I must tell them from this floor, Honorable Speaker, the reason the President has implored on this House to amend our standing orders, to allow Cabinet Secretaries to appear in this House to answer to questions and statements, Honorable Speaker, and also to articulate government policy, Honorable Speaker, is to enhance accountability in government. President William Ruto, as I said the other day, Honorable Speaker, does not to need to speak about corruption. He will act on corruption. Any cabinet secretary who exercises his authority in a way that will benefit himself individually will only have himself to blame. President William Ruto will not be there to protect any of the, these cabinet secretaries should you dip your hands in the cookie jar that belongs to Kenyans? Honorable Speaker, I just wish Honorable Speaker to beg the members who are shouting. I know you just came from some market somewhere, but you are now in the National Assembly. <laughs> Drop the market manners uh, from the market you came from and allow us to debate what you are debating, Honorable Speaker. And I had stated, you will have your say and you will say it, Honorable Speaker. And I was saying accountability will be key under the administration of William Ruto. And I want to challenge all of us in this House, Honorable Speaker. Let us play our oversight role. Honorable Speaker, Kenyans will bear as witness, Honorable Speaker, that as we vetted, Honorable Speaker, the Speaker as a chair moderated without regard to political affiliation. Ourselves, we vetted these cabinet secretaries without regard to our political affiliations, and we put questions to them to be able to ascertain their suitability, Honorable Speaker, and that is how we found all of them suitable, Honorable Speaker, to be able to serve in public office, with the exception of uh, what I have stated, Honorable Speaker, and what I have said is now in the hands of all of us here. Honorable Speaker, with those very many remarks, I want to beg to move this motion, Honorable Speaker, and uh, I want to request the uh, Deputy Leader of Majority, the Honorable Owen Bayer, to second the motion. As I thank Honorable Speaker, all the members of the committee, and indeed all the members of the House, and as I beg that we do consider and approve these nominees. Thank you, Honorable Speaker.